What's up guys, I'm Yet Another Gamer, and welcome to Bloons Tower Defense 3. So, I played the first two, so this is the third one. You know, because after one and two, the following number is three. Believe it or not, I learned my math pretty well, you know, whatever. And so there's eight maps here, and my goal is to try to beat this one on hard. Because, actually, I've played all five of the games, and I'm pretty sure I've beaten every single map, the hardest one, on hard. Except for this one. Because there's no premiums, premiums or anything in this game, so it's really difficult. I'm trying to beat this one on hard, but we won't do it. I'll try to beat a different map. You know, I'm thinking this one, because it looks kind of cool. So we'll do it on hard. So, I believe it's 50 waves, you have 50 lives, and if I remember correctly, the tax shooters are what I like it best in this game. Because they can be upgraded into blade shooters. So, let's go ahead and get faster shooting. Cool. And hopefully this will work out. The three pads at the beginning, they shouldn't make too much of a difference as long as we can get a bunch of attack towers in here and we'll be good. So I believe I've beaten pretty much all the other maps on hard. Um, I remember I beat the fourth map on hard. Because four of these are, like, this game's on some other websites as well. And so sometimes it's, uh, I'll we'll try to do this No Lives Lost too. Uh, so, in other websites, there's only four maps, the first four. This was part of the second set, and I think it's only available in, like, Ninja QE or something. Let's go ahead and get Blade Shooter as well. Hopefully, though, I'm pretty sure this is actually really good. If I remember correctly, this is how I beat the fourth map, which is two paths, and it's actually pretty difficult. But I remember I did do that with a whole bunch of attack shooters. So, hopefully this works out. Can it pop those blues? Yes, it can. Look at that amazingness. And I believe the extra range actually not only increases its range, but the blades actually get bigger. So that's why it's super helpful. So let's see. Hopefully this works out well. And I will skip a bunch of this, because the game's pretty slow. There's no fast-forward button in this game, unlike 4 and 5. So I'll probably just skip a bunch of the rounds, so you don't have to watch me just play this game and talk about random stuff that doesn't make any sense. Yay, commentary. <laughs> Look at that, it's doing so well. The only thing we're gonna need is like leads. You can unlock eight tracks by passing one through four. What? I already have all of them unlocked, see? I don't know what it's talking about. 270 for a dart monkey. Should I get a dart monkey? I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe we can get a boomerang. Seems like it could be good. Like maybe curve around this end type of here. Or maybe I could put it here and it could tur curve around that kind of hit balloons before they get started. Or should we get a cannon? Man, there's too many options. I don't... Let's see. Oh yeah, that's the monkey storm. Which is provided by the monkey beacon. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I actually played this on Ninja Kiwi, so I don't know if it saved my stuff or not. Spike a pulse is actually a different upgrade. What? Okay, so I'm feeling like I will need... You know what? Let's just road spike these bad boys. Let's keep it no lives lost. Heck yeah. Okay, so 50 blues heading down next. You know what, I'll just get another attack shooter. Oh no, this is really good. This is going to be tight placement. Okay, we're good. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. I wouldn't have wasted 30 money on road spikes. And I'm done sometimes. Okay, faster shooting, we're good. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll fast forward, because this beginning part, you know, it's boring. Okay. See you in a bit. Lucky for you, it's going to be like magic. It's going to be like, boom! Already on round 20. Woohoo. Okay, so we just passed round 21. Monkey lives good on levels with multiple paths. You can split the oncoming streams, like this one, yeah. But as you can see, we got this guy. He's fully upgraded. It's a glaive thrower. He can pop eight balloons at once and thermite, so he can pop all the lead balloons that come out, which came out on round 20. So we're good for those guys. And we got just a whole bunch of blaze shooters right here that just destroy those balloons. Next level will be a doozy. Okay, well, great. And also, a weird thing with this guy, you can see when it comes back around, it can actually pop that balloon right here multiple times. So it's actually, I don't know, if that's like a glitch or a bug or something, but it's really helpful. I guess the glaive doesn't like disappear when it actually gets back to him. So that's cool. And I'm thinking, you know, I should probably get like super range for these guys soon. Or I'm thinking a monkey beacon, because that would be really helpful. But for now, we're just going to keep spamming these tack towers. Play it safe. I mean, it seems really easy right now, but once you get to like Moabs and stuff, I imagine it's gonna be way more difficult. So there's a laser monkey or a super monkey. It costs 4,300. I don't know if that's worth it. 
I mean, I want to get one, but at the same time, they're never really that good, especially when they're not upgraded, so I'm thinking we're going to need to wait on that guy. I believe it's only 50 rounds, right? So monkey beacons do not attack. They just increase the radius of things. Yep, that is true. We should actually put a tech tower. We can put some right there. That'd be good. Okay, we've got some black balloons coming out. That's not too bad for these guys. Yeah, look at that. They just destroy them. They haven't even gotten to, like, right here. Um, so, should we upgrade the range? It's 110. I mean, you know, it's probably worth it in the end. And look, so when we upgrade this, you can tell, I believe, the blades got bigger. I mean, it's a little hard to tell, to be honest. Oh, well. Um, let's do this guy, too. Okay, so we got some leads here. The problem is, are we going to be able to defeat those leads? Oh, that was actually really close. I'm going to go ahead and get a cannon for backup here, because, yeah. And then let's see, upgrades bigger bombs. Yeah, let's do that. Frag bombs. Oh yeah, that's really a good upgrade. We always want that. Because those can pop balloons twice, pretty much. It can hit the explosion, and it can also pop black balloons. So, um, and there's targeting on this game. I'm going to leave these guys up first, because I don't think it matters too much. Um, let's get another attack shooter in here if we can. Just spamming those attacks. And let's go ahead and get the fully upgraded stuff. And hopefully we'll be able to have no tr problem with leads. So it only goes up to yellow in this game. You know, yellow contains green, which contains blue, which contains red. Um, in the fourth one, they add pink balloons. So blacks turn into pl pinks and stuff like that, and they're even faster. That's not in this game. Um, and they do have ceramic balloons in this game, which take, like, multiple hits to pop. I think it's ten. And then they also have Moabs. So this is an introduction of Moab. I believe it comes at around, like, 36, maybe? 38 or something? 37? I don't know. Uh, do you know bomb missile slight fire rate increase? Um, oh god. See, there's the ceramics. So they got really far. But not even far into my defense, so we're still good. We okay. We cool. Oh no. Wait, really? I haven't... There's no spot to place towers there? Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. I thought there was. Maybe we can place a dart monkey in there? No? There is no Moab Mauler in this game, which is what bombs are usually the best for. Um, let's go ahead and get... You know what? We'll get you to Missile Launcher. Isn't that cool? Look at that thing. When it fires, it gets so much bigger at randomly. It's kind of weird. Oh well. Um... Let's see, we can get a monkey beacon. That might be a good idea. Or we can get another attack shooter. Okay, cool. Let's go and get that super range. Maybe we can get a monkey beacon, like, over here somewhere, where towers aren't going to be placed. Monkey beacon increases the range. It can also increase attack speed. And it gives you the ability to do this top secret thing. Oh boy, isn't that exciting. Should I get... I don't think missile launcher is actually worth it. I mean, you're going to have to buy extra range. Oh, God, no. Let's put down some rose spikes just to be careful here. And then let's glue those bad boys. Okay, we're going to have to rose spike the crap out of those. Okay, Moab stands for Massive Ordinary Air Blimp, which is not Mother of All Balloons. Either way, it brings pain. Yeah, Jesus, that was difficult. I was expecting it to be a little easier than that, to be honest. Keeping the no lives lost is kind of difficult. We only have 50 lives anyway, so if we t lose any, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> can't believe we can't place any towers in there. Man, that's a real bummer. So, I don't know what we're going to do then. I mean, the bomb tower down here was kind of necessary, so we'll do that again, I think. Hopefully, it, the frags can do a lot of damage against the Moabs. Anyway, I'll speed up this part just because I don't, again, I don't want you to have to wait, uh, sit through this. So hopefully this works out. Okay, so we're on 43. We're gone the last six waves. Hopefully this Moab isn't going to be super killer because god dang. I don't know what I'm going to do against those guys. I got a monkey beacon here. He has jungle drums. Increases the speed of everything within that range. So hopefully that does something. But at the same time, we need more, like, Moab popping power. But I don't know what's good against that, to be honest. I mean, there's nothing, really. So, I mean, the Super Monkey is the only thing that's actually good against those. We're going to go ahead and Road Spike this thing to be safe. And then we'll go ahead and Monkey Glue. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't too big of a problem. So let's go ahead and get that awesome super monkey. Yeah, and look at that increased range from the beacon, increased attack speed, and I'm thinking we'll put you on... Okay, we can't put you on strong. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we'd be able to do that. Um, round 45. So, I don't know if there's more Moabs on this round or something. Let's see, so super range. I don't know if that's really worth it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Look at that range, holy crap. Epic range, yeah, we don't need that. I mean, he can cover almost the whole map already. Especially with the monkey beacon, too. I mean, we're killing this stuff. And we upgraded the range on all these, so should be good, yep. And hopefully, if a Moab comes, we don't have to road spike it this time. Yeah, okay, laser vision. Plasma vision is next. We gotta get that. That seems like a good idea. Luckily, so, in the later games, 4 and 5, there's a scaling on the money, but right now we just get money for every pop, so we get tons of moment money. I almost said mummy. <laughs> we get tons of money in these later rounds, because there's so many balloons, and we're just popping all of them. So we'll be able to get this plasma vision, no problem. And it'll be great. And I'm pretty sure plasma can pop these leads as well. But leads aren't really a problem. We've got these cannons. They're doing work here. Okay. Getting difficult yet? Round 49. I think this is the second to last round. Uh, we're really killing these things. I mean, they're not getting far. The only thing that's going to cause any problem is Moabs. Bam. Plasma vision. So hopefully that does really good against Moabs. Oh, wow. Those things got really far, actually. Let's go ahead and get another cannon, then down here. Here comes the final level. It's hard. Okay, well thanks for letting me know. Here we go. Final level. Round 50. Hard. On this map, which is pretty easy to be honest. I mean, it has three entrances, but it doesn't do anything. And then it's got some nice uh, curves. That's... Okay, that sounds weird, but we got these tack towers that just kill them. See, there's two. Two Moabs. Are you kidding me? Okay, but our super monkey should be able to just destroy those along with the cannons. Yeah, no problem. Didn't even need to use road spikes. Bam, you passed track six on hard. Should I keep playing in free play mode? I mean, we'll try it, but I'll just skip forward to when I die, really. You know, I don't think my computer can actually handle this. I mean, I'm already lagging. This is the first round of free play. So, I'm thinking we're gonna have to just exit the game. I mean, we have a bunch of money, but we're gonna end the game. Sorry if you wanted to see that, and we got a gold medal. See, I don't know if that keeps it there forever, but hopefully we'll try to beat this one. I promise we've beaten this one on hard, and I think I've beaten this one on hard. But anyway, thanks for watching, if you did, and I'll see you later.